Hi, and welcome to part two of the ABSIX QTRAP video series. In this video, we will give you an overview of EPI, explain what it is, and the benefits it can bring to your routine food testing methods. So, you might be asking yourself, what is EPI? Well, even though many QTRAP users use their QTRAP as a triple quad, the QTRAP is actually no ordinary triple quad, and EPI, or Enhanced Product Ion Scanning, can take ordinary MRM detection to the next level. Here's how. When an MRM is detected, for example, parent ion 424.1 and fragment 231.1 above a set intensity threshold, an enhanced product ion scan, or EPI scan, is triggered. All fragments of the parent compound are then trapped in Q3, scanned out, and detected. The result? Rather than just detecting your single MRM, you are able to see multiple fragments, even four or more MRMs, just by triggering on one of them. So what does this mean for you, and how can this EPI scanning business help you? Well, by creating your acquisition methods to collect EPI scans, you are able to detect more MSMS fragments when a compound, or MRM, is detected. That means you will automatically acquire more information to identify and confirm those positive findings. You can also compare those MSMS -MS spectra to compound library spectra, which also helps to confirm positives. And the beauty of it all is that it does not require any additional time commitment from you. Once your method is set up to trigger EPI scans, the work happens automatically. Check out this example. In this analysis, we've detected omethoate in a carrot sample, perfect match of retention time and MRM ratio. However, we had our method set up to trigger EPI on any detected MRMs, and when we look at the EPI scan data, we see that the complete MSMS -MS fragmentation pattern is not even close to the MSMS -MS fragmentation pattern of omethoate. This MRM peak was not omethoate, so having our EPI scan data not only saved us the time of performing a sample recheck, but also prevented us from reporting a false positive result. You might be thinking now, I'll just add an extra MRM or two to my scheduled MRM method, and then I won't need to do the EPI. Well, it's all about cycle time. The more MRMs you add to your method, the longer the cycle time. This means you are reducing the number of data points you collect across your peak. So, simply adding one or two additional MRMs may have a negative impact on your data quality, which will have a negative impact on your quantitation. But with the EPI workflow, you are able to measure all of the fragments for that detected peak for added confidence in identification, but without increasing cycle times and getting poor quality data. It's a great alternative to using added MRMs for confirmation. We hope this overview of EPI scanning with QTRAP has given you some insight into how QTRAP can help to improve results for routine food testing methods, both for accurate identification and quantitation of residues. Check out the next videos in this series describing more examples of QTRAP benefits for food testing methods and step-by-step -step guides to help you set up these methods in your own lab.